Ready to meditate? Hi, I'm Margo with CalTV Entertainment, and today I'm going to be teaching you all a few meditation rituals to hopefully help you release some of that stress and anxiety. First things first, location. You really can meditate just about anywhere, but I recommend that if possible, try and get outside somewhere beautiful in the sunshine. I find that it really helps you dial in and let go of some of that negative energy that you might be carrying with you in other spaces. I also really recommend lighting an incense while you meditate. Aromatherapy is the holistic healing practice of using plant extracts and essentially scents to produce a variety of different kinds of effects. Some of my favorites for meditation are sage, which has cleansing properties, peppermint, which helps with focus, and lavender, which I'll be using today, which is known for its calming effects. The first meditation ritual that I'm going to teach you all is super simple. So go ahead and get comfy and light your incense. And then what you're going to want to do is focus your attention on the trail of smoke as it leaves your incense and floats upwards. And as you're noticing the types of patterns that the smoke makes, if any thoughts enter your head, briefly acknowledge them and then set them aside. There's going to be plenty of time later to address them, but for now, all you need to do is completely immerse yourself in this experience of watching the smoke waft and curl and billow upwards. Now I want to introduce you guys to two crystals which are phenomenal for healing stress and anxiety. The first, amethyst, is known for helping control anxiety attacks and alleviating insomnia. Amethyst helps us understand what is causing the root of our stress so that we can find tranquility. We also have rose quartz, which is known for helping balance emotions. I know that as Cal students, we tend to be pretty hard on ourselves, and rose quartz has a very gentle energy that can help to counteract some of that pressure and stress that we sometimes experience. You can find these crystals and so many more in your local metaphysical store. I really recommend going in and just noticing which crystals you find yourself drawn to. That's usually a pretty good indication that you could actually benefit and even potentially heal from the energy of that crystal. Now it's really important, especially when you first get your crystals, to make sure to charge them. There's all different kinds of ways that you can do this. You can use sunlight, moonlight, solar eclipses, water, so much more. But today, I'm going to teach you all a really simple way using just your breath. So, what you're going to want to do is hold your crystal in your non-dominant hand and then inhale deeply and as your lungs are expanding, I want you to imagine a shimmering light filling the inside of your lungs and then exhale that light onto your crystal, blowing gently and just repeat that process a few times until you feel that your crystals become charged with the energy that you generated. I hope you all learned something new and now see meditation as a resource that you can always utilize. This has been Margot with CalTV Entertainment.